that have experienced outbreaks and who will share with us their experience. We found, and just for your knowledge, that there have been 35 flights that have carried persons who have had symptoms of disease. On those flights, there have been four flights that have actually occurred in transmission to another passenger, and these have been passengers either in front, in back, or beside those passengers, and in one instance, a flight attendant. There have been a total of 16 cases of SARS transmitted on these four airlines. SARS does not transmit through the air on airplanes, neither does influenza. The filter systems on, airport, on airplanes are such that they filter these microbes from the air. The general public's perception of the risk has been much greater than the actual risk. This despite clear guidance which has been put out on websites of WHO, of our regional offices, of country offices, and of CDC in Atlanta and many of our collaborating centers. Governments have not done a good job in educating the general public about this disease and how they should be preventing it. It's a simple message. Don't go near a patient with SARS or if you do wear full protective equipment. If you're a contact, monitor your temperature, and if you become sick, report to a health worker. Biosafety, so la sécurité uh, biologique. Et enfin, concernant le règlement sanitaire international, on a pu utiliser ces ressources pour uh, se pencher sur les pieds à un groupe de son senior management, de manière à avoir à la fois dans les régions une cellule propre pour la communication, puisque comme vous le savez, vous pouvez l'imaginer, la communication. Alert and global response uh, pattern by WHO, uh, Taiwan this time will not be left out. Thank you very much. I give the floor to Belarus.